our bath, okay, we fill with distilled water, okay, as usual. And then the temperature is set at 40 degrees Celsius because diffusivity coefficient is a strong function of temperature. In this experiment, we want to measure the diffusivity coefficient of this material, this is acetone, this stone, yeah, at 40 degrees Celsius, okay? Because uh, you can do at any temperature, of course, 25, 13, 14, it's up to you. But in this uh, experiment, we use uh, 40 degrees Celsius, and it is 10 degrees Celsius below the maximum. The maximum is 50, so we cannot go above 50. Uh, but we have a manual uh, thermometer, and this is also the temperature. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, so you can compare if this is 40, this, this is supposed to be 40. Yeah. Almost, yeah. <laughs> but uh, yeah, let's rely on this one. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, we have a T capillary tube. T my capillary tube. It's a very small tube. And we fill that tube with this solution above 35 uh, millimeter. 35 millimeter from the bottom. You see? Just like T from the bottom of the tube. It's about 35 millimeter. And then we put it inside this nut and we lock it to make it tight so it doesn't uh, sh uh, shake. Okay, or move during the experiment. And then we have microscope. Okay, this microscope is to see, to see what? To see the level of uh, the liquid inside the capillary tube. Okay, so we call this uh, just mic uh, microscope. And you see, you will see that it's already now going down the level. Okay, uh, let me... Let me adjust. Can you see the, the meniscus? Okay. Now it is at, what is the scale? Eight point something? Eight. Yes. Okay. Eight point something. Uh, at the surface, uh, eight point five. Yes, yes. On, on the top of yeah. the meniscus. On the middle at eight. No, we, we should so, take it at, at the top. Yeah? We at should the take top, it at the top. At the top at eight point five. Yes. You see that? That is the meniscus of acetone inside the capillary tube. Okay. So, Okay. Can you see? It can be? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's uh, what you see inside the, the, the capillary tube, okay? From time to time, the level will, will, uh, will decrease in this, but you see here, the, uh, the meniscus will, will, will also decrease, okay? So, what you have to do now is you take at zero time, Okay, time zero, when you start the experiment, you see, I will set it at, 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 at nine. Okay. At zero. This will be at nine, okay? The scale will be at nine. And then, liquid level, of course, it's still zero. Then, after, let's say after... Uh, ah, so, one, two, L0 is nine. Yeah, yeah. L0, nine. Okay, um... And then, this is going to be like two hour full Nine minutes, two hours. Yeah, yeah, like two hour experiment, full time, two hours. So you divide this into two hours. How many minutes? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Fifteen measurements for... Uh, Do it all. Huh? Do it all. Yes. For two hours, starting from... Uh, uh, time zero, whatever. Okay, you measure the time, okay, and then the liquid level. Now, now it is, I think, at 0.5. I will make it again at 9. Okay, I will bring it to 9. And then you calculate uh, the new level. Okay, just, just write, for example, now 8.5. Okay, and this one. Uh, let's say after but what's the, the difference, right? Yeah, this is the difference. If you know the initial L, you can calculate the difference. It's the same. Yeah, it's a slow process. Yeah, this 
Actually, in the manual, it is take. Uh, it's taking about 12 hours experiment, but we don't have that long. Okay, so that's why we, we have only two hours. And divided by 15 measurements, you take, don't change anything here. Just look at what you have inside, okay? Um, yeah, I think that's it. And later I will explain what to do, okay, in the calculation part and what you have to draw if there is any plot, okay? So just three way. Yes. That's the experiment. That the experiment is every, let's say, 15, 12, uh, two hours divided by 15. How many? How many? 15? Yeah. Uh, one one minute, minute, let's say. 10 minutes? So one every uh, 0.2, point two minutes. 0.2 point two minutes meaning, um, oh, sorry, point 0.2 hours. So every 12 minutes, right? Yes. Huh? Yeah, around, let's take every 10 minutes to make it easy. Every 10 minutes you take one minute. Huh? Yeah? 20, 24 minutes. Yes. Uh, 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 yeah. uh, uh, okay. Take every eight minutes. You take uh, the reading of the level. Mm -hmm. every, every eight minutes. Okay. Later on, you have to convert to kilosecond, but this time, just put minute. Later, when you do the calculation, you have to change it to Can't kiloseconds. Start. <laughs> start, start. Yes, you can. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Before you start, no. I want to make it at nine first. It's going to be slow process. Okay. Okay. Yeah, you can start now. Yeah. Is <laughs> time, and then L over L minus L naught. So what you have to do is plotting this over this versus this. Okay, why? Because we want to get the slope. This is the slope. Huh? Other slope. Yeah. This is intercept. Look at the slope. The slope equal to density of liquid. Or sorry, density of acetone in a vapor. Okay? You can get it from handbook, manual. Any find find this value. Molecular weight of acetone. At uh, 40 centigrade. At 40, yes. This is at 40 degrees Celsius. Okay? CBM, what is CBM? This. Huh? CB1 is given, CB1 equal to C, CT. What is CT? This one. 1 over 22.414. T absolute is 273. TA is 40 degrees Celsius. So you convert it to Kelvin. Okay? If you calculate this, you know CB1. What is CB2? CB2 is P minus P star, upper pressure. This is atmospheric pressure. Total pressure, atmospheric pressure. This one, vapor pressure of acetone. Yeah. At this is also something that you have to find from from the literature. Antoine equation is one of that. Yeah. You can use Antoine equation, and it must be in atmosphere. Okay. CT already calculated, you can find CB2. What is CA? CA is P star over P times CT. So with all of this, you know this, you can, you know this, you know this, you know this, you know this. So what is the remaining? D. D. It is equal to the slope. If you know the slope, you know everything except D, so you can find it. And then, compare with theoretical value. Okay, this is this is number one, okay? And then number two is calculating D. So number three is compare with theoretical value. Use Lerner Jones equation. 
Okay. Or what? Bullets. Okay.